southern boys with the promise strength. Ain't nobody man enough to feel the pain. Okay, it is 6:11 right now. 6:11 p.m. on October 30th, 2016. We are moments or hours away from Hell in the Cell. Now you're probably watching this after Hell in the Cell or in the future, whatever. Now I'm gonna get this shit out of the way. Leave a like on this video. I will be uploading this on both of my channels, and also uh, leave your comments, discuss. You know, I'll be reading every comment like I always do, and also uh, follow me on Twitter at Boy What's Your Gym. The Twitter link is always in the description, where uh, I'll be live tweeting tonight's show, and I'm and I'm kind of in, I can't, I am kind of in pain right now, to where if I if I'm in, still in pain by Hell in the Cell, I might not do reaction videos depending on how I feel. But anyways, just have to get that out of the way. Now let's get into the video. Sasha and Charlotte, or the women in general, main eventing a pay-per-view. Now, twice in WWE history that the women have main evented Monday Night Raw. Twice. Lita and Trish, and these two, Charlotte and Sasha. And I really hate this Charlotte Flair thing. It's really dumb. I really do. It's a real name, so... WWE, why are you using it? I mean, her name is Charlotte, not Charlotte Flair, but that's just me. Um, okay, let's get into this shit. Now, I believe that these two deserve to main event the pay-per-view. Now, you're probably thinking, what, 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 what? You're changing your, your, your thing now? You're, you're changing your view? Look, the story is still awful. I, st I still don't care. But I'm thinking about the fans in Boston. I'm thinking about the pay-per-view not ending in a bad note. I'm thinking about a pay-per-view ending with a match that people still care. There will be a lot of people, including me, that don't care, but at the same time, there's still people that care. Nobody cares about Re Reigns and Rusev, and I'll be damned if they fucking main event the Hell in the Cell pay-per-view. There could be a chance of Reigns defending the U.S. title and winning and retaining the title against Rusev in the main event of Hell in the Cell in the Hell in the Cell match. That's one. Number two. Um, so Rollins versus Owens. Universal title. I think that, you know, it's not interesting. The story is boring. I mean, I love all three of these guys. Jericho, Owens, and Rollins. I love these guys as a fan. And I was, I marked out. You guys saw my reaction of Kevin Owens winning the Universal title and Rollins getting screwed by Triple H. Now, I'm still mad that Triple H has not come out and explain why um, but besides that Rollins and, and Owens the story has been about Jericho's list Sparkle Crotch that's basically it and screw jobs and Stephanie still you know I don't know like Stephanie involved this is why Stephanie man needs to go seriously but uh the Sa Sasha and Charlotte uh, they're in Boston the fans are going to cheer Sasha, boo the fuck out of Charlotte. The fans will go nuts when Sasha retains the title. To make it better, it will be awesome if Nia Jax came through and destroyed Sasha after she retains the title. If she does it during the match, Charlotte will win the title again. Guarantee it. There's no way that Nia Jax is going to come through, beat up Sasha Banks, and then after uh, Charlotte's going to pin her, she kicks out, and then still wins. I don't like that at all. I will not like that at all. So, like I said, you know, follow me on Twitter because I'll be tweeting as the show goes on. I'll be tweeting at that exact moment on how I feel. So, these two have been going at it since January. I have documented this many times. You know, the one time I actually cared was back at, uh, was at Wrestle, oh, sorry, not WrestleMania. WrestleMania, I mean, I wanted Becky to win because everyone chose Sasha to win. And she was, she was the one that tapped out, Right? The one time I care about these two specifically was on Raw July 25th, the first Raw of the new era. And when Sasha won the title, I was like, yes, finally, finally she won the title. But now she's a two-time champion already. She won the title, lost it at SummerSlam, took a two-week off, or a two-week leave in the WWE, and then after come back, competed at Clash of Champions with messed up ribs, and then after that, Competed against Charlotte on Raw two weeks after Clash of Champions. 
to win the unit to sorry the WWE Women's Title. So what 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 why? You know, but besides all that, I still think that these two will and can main event the show, proving that the women can do most of the dudes can. I believe in equality. And I do think that these two should main event the show because they're in Boston. Cheers and booze. And I want the fans to go home happy. I don't want to go. I want the fans to be pissed off. I want the fans to go home happy. So I hope WWE actually comes through and actually let these guys, let these two women main event the show. That's just me. So leave your comments down below what you guys think. I do believe that these two should main event the show. But like, what do you what do you think? Leave your comments down below. Leave a like on this video. Like I said, follow me on Twitter. I'll be live tweeting during the show, and there'll be a review later on. And I am out. Like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter. Like I said, and goodbye. I'm out later.